Okay, so I finally did it. Um, those are greens from last night. I got to take those out. But I went out and I, I guess you can say, went back to the Exoterra 36 by 18 by 18. Um, my other big tank, you guys always saw that DIY cages one. Terrible. Because reviews said that the chemical smell would go out. Well, I had it for over a year. And it still had a slight chemical smell in it. And... It never went out. And I and the problem the other problem I had with it too was I can never get the temperature right, no matter how many times I change the bulbs. Luckily he's in my office, so I kept a temperature gauge in there and every time it got too hot, I'd reach over and turn off the heat lamp. And if it got too cold, I'd turn around and turn it on. So it was just so much work. Whereas with the Exoterra, which I love, it's easier for me to maintain the heat and make sure everything is good. So right now this is just a temporary setup because I just did this last night. But as you can see here, I pulled out my old, um, oh, what is it called? Dimming heat lamp. I love these because all I got to do is find that sweet spot of the temperature, set the dimmer, and we're good to go. And then this right here is just a spare um, T8 UVB bulb. Obviously, this isn't going to be the permanent one. The permanent one's in my other tank. I just got to pull it out and take it apart. And, uh... We got to hang up some hammocks in here, but this is just enough for now. And then I can do the rest this weekend. But he seems to really like it. It's the most I've seen him bask. And then I gave him a little hide down here because I do live in the desert. So it gets kind of chilly sometimes, even though I do keep a heater in here for him. Um, I just hope that the heat that gets trapped up here on the uh, tile We'll just kind of carry over for him and help him stay warm because as you know with the exoterras they don't insulate because they're glass and then what i do with my exoterras every time i buy an exoterra with the exception of my skink <clears throat> i always put by the metal tops just a regular 40 ground 40 pound breeder will work for this part because the plastic ones that they come with which is back here if i have that heat lamp on it it will melt the plastic so for me, metal is safer, plus I have cats, so if the cats jump up there, nothing's going to happen. I know he's going to be okay, because I'm always going to war with my kitties. But I think he'll like it. And then the other thing too, yes, this is a 40 ground, forty pound breeder. So we went from a 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot tank to this one. So it is a big drop in size, but if you look over here, Bolt loves to sit in the window. So he'll usually hang out in his tank for about a half a day. Then I open up the tank. Then he runs out here, jumps on the window, and just kind of takes off all day running around my office. So I'm not worried about that for him because he's very much a free spirit in my office. It's his space. He can do what he wants. And we just go for it. But at the end of the day, DIY cages, my opinion, stay clear. They look pretty. They seem pretty. Reviews say that they're amazing. Honestly, after having it for over a year, that was probably the worst investment I've ever made. I'm going to try to salvage the tank, but that's going to include a lot of work. I'm going to have to cut into the roof of the old tank, and you'll see it in my videos, and um, create some better vents in it. And then I'm also going to redo the whole interior and then make get some grout and make some permanent grout walls on it. And then I need to redo the doors. I don't like them. So I don't know. That tank might just honestly end up in the garbage. I don't know if I really want to go through all that work. I mean, it, like I said, it looks pretty. Reviews seem promising, but worst investment ever. Exoterra, in my opinion, is where it's at for beardies. If you can afford the nice tanks, go for it. But some of them are upwards of four to six hundred dollars to get them, I, or build your own. I've always been apprehensive with building my own tank, only because I know certain woods are not good for lizards, and I'm scared that if I go for it, I'm not going to make it correctly. But anyways, Bolt's new setup, we've got his heat lamp, um, my spare UVB light right over him, which is too big for this tank. This, again, was for the four-foot tank, and uh, I have a better one in my old tank that I can use, which is the T5s. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. This is an update on Bolt's tank. Again, took him out of the big one, put him in this one because this is what I'm familiar with. And I know how to set up. But this isn't at all nearly finished yet. I still got a lot of work to do on this tank. But anyways, have a great day. Take care. Bye.